Hey folks, Tom Bell here with your Diz Daily Fix for Wednesday, January 3rd, 2018. Here's what's happening today. Uh, Walt Disney World has released some new offers that could save you money on your next vacation. The first one is actually good right away. Uh, this one will save you up to 20% on uh, select rooms Sunday through Thursday nights now uh, through February 7th. So this one you got to book right away uh, before February 3rd. Another new offer also could save you 20%, up to 20%. This one's good most nights, uh, continuing February 18th through June 10th. Plus, if you upgrade this offer to include at least a five-day park hopper ticket, they will throw on an additional day for free. Uh, this one, uh, let's see, if you uh, you can book, you need to book it by March 7th if your stay is before April 14th. And you need to book by April 7th if you are staying before June 10th. Uh, there are other new discount offers as well. And there's a few restrictions on both of those discounts. So head over to the discounts page at www.info.com or contact our friends at Dreams Unlimited Travel for more information. Uh, in other news, cold weather in Orlando continues to affect Walt Disney World pools and water parks. Typhoon Lagoon Water Park is closed at least through tomorrow, January 4th. Actually, Blizzard Beach is also closed as well, but is on its seasonal refurbishment. All, all Walt Disney World pools are closed today. Uh, hot tubs, though, remain open. Pools are expected, however, to reopen tomorrow. Uh, in addition, the Fairy Tale Fireworks, a sparkling dessert cruise that was set for Friday, has been canceled. And the Spirit of Aloha show at the Polynesian Resort has canceled both the 515 and 815 performances through Friday, plus the 815 show on Sunday. We will keep an eye on all of those closures for you and continue to let you know what's going on there. Finally today, the important news. Uh, the Walt Disney World fan community lost its collective minds last August when the Festival of Fantasy Parade at the Magic Kingdom was moved to 2 o'clock instead of 3 o'clock, which has been the traditional starting time for the 3 o'clock parade. We are happy to report that all is right with the world and the parade is back at 3 o'clock where it apparently belongs. Today's featured article on the Diz is from Eric Ring, who talks about his, experiencing, his experience ordering and having groceries delivered to his room in his article, Using Instacart and Saving Money by Eating In at Walt Disney World. You will find this article and more at www.info.com. Trending on the Diz board today is a thread from poster Beat Bete, who's analyzed the cost of a Walt Disney World vacation for a family with a wide range of ages based on how much time they will actually spend enjoying the parks. Uh, posters are coming up with some formulas, the cost, some cost of value formulas uh, in the thread, what's your minimum time in the Disney parks to justify going to Disney? You will find that, of course, at the Theme Parks, Attractions, and Strategies forum at disboards.com. If you are heading into the parks tomorrow, continues to be sunny but cold in Orlando, high of 53, low of 32. Uh, mostly sunny in Anaheim tomorrow, high of 75 with a low of 53. You can find links to all these stories and more on our Daily Fix main page at wdwinfo.com slash daily fix. That's going to do it for me today, but be sure to join us again tomorrow for the next installment of the Diz Daily Fix. Have a great day.